Hey guys, Fort Worth Glock Guy here with another case to explore. Pelican 1170, not the same one as I had before. I've got a couple of these actually. Um, this is obviously got some different stickers on it. Smoky Mountain Knife Fork sticker, Victorinox sticker, Hitch and Timber. Another Victorinox sticker, another Victorinox sticker. It's almost like I like Victorinox. So anyways, let's pop this open and see what we got. Okay, so I went through a phase where I would build these little kits. And obviously I built a couple of them here and these are identical, but just in different leathers and different colors, but otherwise identical. So here is a green cadet and obviously these have not been carried very much, if at all. Um, I just have other things that I carry. A brass flashlight, and this is a, I believe it's a lumen top, I can't remember. No markings on there. And then a brass Fisher space pin in the side. So there's that. Exact same thing, different leather. A red Victorinox Cadet. Lumen Top flashlight. And a, gosh, almost brand new Fisher Space Pen. I'm, this doesn't have any scratches on it at all. So that shows you how much I carry these. But went through a phase where I just built these little kits so um, let's go with this one next another hitch and timber this one has been carried a little bit you can see by the wear and the leather again another Fisher space pen bullet in brass and then this one is actually a pretty unique one. It is a cadet size, so 84 millimeter. But this is basically a compact, which is one of my favorite um, models because of the tool set in it. But this is an Alox. So it's got the blade. It's got the little combo tool. And it has scissors and that is a half stop which is kind of unique so half stop on those scissors and basically just a compact but in alox and again i forget the model of this but it was just really unique really cool um and in really good condition too so there's that okay so this is kind of my collector's case slash duplicates case so we're going to see a lot of stuff that I use so here's a squirt p4 and it's in really good condition I have one of these that I carry um, this is just a backup speaking of here's a squirt s4 so the difference obviously is the scissors and I have one of these as well that I have. So this is again, just a backup. Um, I carry these a lot at work because they're small, um, depending on what I need. Sometimes I might carry the pliers. Sometimes I might carry the scissors. So just kind of depending on the time of year and what I'm doing at work. Um, here is a black classic SD. And I collected a lot of these. I had a, a lot of different colors and I ended up selling a lot of them just because I got, I guess I got out of it. I don't know. And I had some pretty unique colors that, that people liked and wanted. So, you know, we sold and traded and whatnot. Here's a pink one. I think I have, a, I have multiples of these too. Um, my intent was to, I gave one to my wife and it's on one of her sets of car keys and then I bought th three more for my three daughters and 
I have one of them, so I guess I didn't give one of them to maybe my youngest. I don't know. Still have one, so. Um, here is a 58 millimeter, extremely thin pen blade and file. This is obviously an older model. It's a different kind of Alox. It's smooth, so no texture on it. And this one's in really good condition. I forget the model on this one. It just has those two tools and it came in this slip and it's in really good condition. So this one is kind of a collector for me. Um, let's see what else we have in here. Looks like another SD here. Uh, here's a red one. I think what I did was with these SDs, I, I kept all the Victorinox colors. So black, silver, and red. And I think I sold most of my other ones. Um, I do have the collection of the annuals. So starting with 2015, which I think was like a really dark midnight blue. I forget what they called it. Navy blue, midnight blue. Um, I do have that collection from 2015 um, to current day. So maybe I'll show that in a different video as well. Um, here is the Ambassador. Yeah. So 74 millimeter, a little bit bigger. I've got a couple of these. This is one of my favorite carries that I, I like. And this is just a backup. So it's got the slightly larger pen blade. It's got the file and it has the slightly larger scissors compared to the 58 millimeter model. So I like this carry. It's real slim. They make a two layer as well. It's called the executive, I believe. So this is the ambassador. It's just a, a single layer. I really like single layer knives. That's why I prefer this one over the executive. Um, here's the same size, so 74 millimeter. This is the money clip, and it's exactly the same as the ambassador that I just showed you. So it's got the pin blade, it's got the file, and it has the scissors, but it is a money clip. And it is in uh, Alox. So, very cool. Um, single blade. Oh, this is the Solo. Okay, so exactly the same size as a Pioneer. So, 93 millimeter, I believe it is. And I have one of these in my lunchbox that I carry. And I've got a backup, apparently. <laughs> or two backups. Here's another solo. I think I gave one of these to a friend. I think I put one in my wife's lunchbox. She's obviously not as, didn't really care as much as I do. So I think maybe she gave it back to me. I don't know. Um, another SD, silver. So obviously a lot of duplicates in here. Um, here is a green, I think this is the Midnight Manager. So it's a classic SD tools, scissors, and then it has a little ink pen and it has a red light, which is not very bright at all. I've got one of these also in blue, which has a blue light or a white light. And it's, it's a better light. It's probably still like half a lumen. Like this one is barely even that. Um, but still cool. Green is one of my favorite colors, so obviously I had to collect it. Um, let's see what else is in here. Here is a compact. Yeah. So I've got a few of these too. I've got one in green, so it matches this, and I've got one in blue. Um, this is one of my favorite uh, Swiss Army knives, just because it's thin and it has all the tools that I need. So it's got the blade, it has the opening tool, which I don't really generally use too much, but it has a larger set of scissors, which I love these scissors. Victorinox makes the best scissors. Um, 
in my opinion, way better than um, the Leatherman's. So, compact in blue. Um, let's see what this is. Ah, yeah. Okay, so this is an older model too. Again, I forget the name of this. Secretary? Maybe. So I think that's an 84 millimeter blade, maybe. It's not 74, it's bigger than that. And then this one has a very small pin blade as well. So I believe this one's called the Secretary. So a lot of kind of unique things in here. Um, all right, a couple in this one. Ah, here is the executive so this one is the same as the ambassador same size 74 millimeter but this one has two layers instead of just one and it's got the same tools as the ambassador actually not this one has a small pen blade as well so a large and a small pen blade this one has the i believe this is called an orange peeler kind of a unique tool um, it's got a pair of scissors, which you would expect on Victorinox. And then this one is got a file and I believe this is like a cuticle pusher. So this is the other 74 millimeter I was talking about. It's still not very thick, but I just kind of prefer the thin. And with those extra tools being what they are, like I'm not going to use that most likely. And I'm definitely not using that much. So, but anyways, this is the executive. This is the ambassador. I really do like this size. I think it's just perfect for your like your watch pocket. Um, cool. This one is one of my first Victorinox customs. And it has all the tools in it. So you can see it's four layers. It has the main blade, it has the awl, it has the saw, it has the scissors, it has the pruner blade, and it has the opening tool, the cap lifter and uh, slotted driver. So this one is like the handyman special. I don't know what you would call it, but it's got all the cool tools in it. Four layers, a little bit thick, but a very cool and unique tool. And I believe this was my very first um, custom that I got in this. So of course I had to get it in an orange because orange is one of my favorite colors. Um, just a, okay, I remember this one. This is just a Pioneer and it was modified to be a sheep's foot by our friend, or my friend, Knife Tex. And I'm not sure what inspired him to do this. It might have been just on a whim to see if he could do it, but he did a really good job with that. Other than that, it's just a pioneer. So all, this, all the normal tools in there. Just has a modified, um, blade i don't know if the tip was broken I, again i forget why he modified it but he did maybe just to see if he could another executive in red so just like this black one just in red um i forget what this one's called 84 millimeter it's got the blade and it has the combo tool on it I forget what this one's called if you know let me know okay so we're getting into some unique ones if you can read that let me know I have no idea what it says and this looks to be a vanger yep it's a vanger so it's got the blade on it. It has 
a nail file. It has the Vinger scissors, which has a different kind of spring system in it. It has the Vanger can opener and the Vanger style opener. On the back side, corkscrew, punch. Sorry, get distracted there. Three pink cadets, one for each of my daughters. That was my intent. Here is a, I think they called this the Grand Prix. Yeah, I think it's called the Grand Prix. Um, this one's a little bit older. So it has the blade. It has a secondary blade. It has a file. Scissors. And then the opening layer. On the back side, it's one of my daughters right there, as a matter of fact. Punch. A very slim slotted driver and then kind of a unique uh, 3d Phillips and it even has this split right down the middle of that I don't know if you can see that or not the older models had had that and again I'm, I'm can't remember the age of this I know it's gosh it may be older than me and I was born in 1974 so this one's a bit older and then the only thing that we have left is my favorite multi-tool, the Leatherman Juice. And I bought one of these, lost one, bought a second one because I lost it, found one. I found the one that I lost like a year later. It was underneath my seat on the passenger side of my car. I was just cleaning out like deep clean and I found it um, and I ended up buying they discontinued so I ended up buying extras that if I ever lost one again I would have one for the rest of my life so I've got one two four here plus the one that I lost that I refound and then this is a case slip that I believe knife techs sent me he may have even sent me one of these too because he knew I, I loved this um, juice so much I think he might have sent me this kit so he found one and then sent me the in it sent this to me in this leather slip from case so anyways now I got to put everything back together thanks for making a mess guys now nah, I appreciate it thanks for watching if you have any questions on any of this stuff, um, let me know and I'd be happy to talk more. So until later, four o'clock guy.